Anita is an artist who works in ceramics. She likes to make things that people will use. When she finishes an item, she imagines that it may become something that someone may grow to treasure, something that may become part of that person's life, and in that way, she herself would become part of their life. Susan is eight, and she goes by Anita's stall when her parents take her to the art walk. A charming little flower pot stands out among all the offerings. It is orange, Susan's favorite color, with a bright yellow flower painted on it. Her parents buy it for her. Susan keeps her flower pot on her window sill. Sometimes there is a flower planted proudly in it, but sometimes the flower is dead. There are times when there is nothing in the pot at all. But the flower pot remains. Sometimes, Susan stares at it while sitting at her desk. Rather than concentrate on her work, she focuses on how the yellow brushstrokes look over the orange paint. How in some places, the paint is slightly thicker than others. And sometimes weeks go by, and she doesn't notice the pot at all. And the flower pot remains. It remains throughout her childhood years, and it remains as she grows into a young woman. When she finishes school and goes away to college, the pot is left behind. When Susan thinks of home, she often thinks of lying in her bedroom, and she thinks of the flower pot. In her mind, the flower pot represents her bedroom. It represents home. And when she returns, it is there to greet her. Sometimes it even has a fresh flower in it. Just a little gesture by Susan's mother to make her daughter feel at home. When she finishes school and moves into her own place, Susan takes her flower pot with her. When she marries her boyfriend and they move into a new house, she takes her flower pot with her. She placed it on the windowsill in her kitchen, and there it sat as the years passed. The household went through many changes. There were remodels and expansions, changes to style and decor. The family changed as well, growing with the arrival of children, then grandchildren. After their parents had passed, the flower pot became precious treasure to the children. It was a memento of their mother. When Susan was young, her flower pot represented her bedroom. To her children, the flower pot represented their mother's kitchen. It represented home. It was part of their lives. A bit of clay, a bit of paint, and a bit of Anita. This is what artists do. First, they elicit a strong reaction, but then, over time, they burrow deep into your heart. They accentuate the good times, and they help make the hard times a little more bearable. Their work remains with you, even when their names and faces do not. <laughs>